Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depending on the time and location, you are tuned to these uh, UAAG Grand Disbursement Update. You know, there's an update, I think it's some days ago, about what to do when the money reaches your bank account. You know, I think it's for NGOs. You know, but sometimes I just, I just ask myself question. Does it mean that uh, we don't operate with banks? Does it mean with our accounts are dormant? Uh, these people we are talking about have been using banks. They they do bank transfer. Most people now, our banks are working. So why the update? You know, I hope this not. You know, sometimes there is always a decoy or a distraction that one brings to 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 deviate people from the main topic. You know, we are talking about the money not being in UAG account. We are talking about the where of about the money. Uh, Apostle Ken Wakama has come out to say that the money is not with them. And some people in the in his circle are telling us what to do when the money reaches our account. Does that add up? Anyway, listen to this. Listen to this. See you at the end of it. Let's day. assume I'm able to gather a so, so far, say, 300 beneficiaries. This is the list that is accrued to me to submit. There is no way out of those 300 beneficiaries i will not be able to know at least say 100 persons and these 100 persons are close and these days people don't even do swim swab once they lay hands on your phone if you link your phone or your transaction is based on your your sim card you should know that with a simple code the money in your account will be empty so i want to appeal before you go and tell your beneficiary the story that touches the heart because uag and apga and the money and the, the authorities are there with this responsibility we don't want to hear story from you because it will be believed and deemed to be a fabricated one so keep your phone safe I know of some persons, what they actually do, they don't even go about with their main phone or good phone they are using. They leave it at home. So if you feel you are not comfortable with your phone, you are not secure with your phone, please take that your sin and put in one pack of phone and be making calls like that till you are done with disbursement. So let's go back to what we were talking about earlier. Now, having done an indemnity over your email and over your phone transfer with your bank, all you need to do, I was talking about the template before. We all know quite well that the templates we are using is not banking templates. Banking, banking templates does not recognize this phone number. So you need to go back. Whatever templates you will be uploading to the UAG app, you need to do another separate template, but the same template, and work with the banking format. And that could be tagged. The first template should be tagged as UAG template. Why the second or disbursement template? Why the second template should be tagged as payment template? Because in that template, what the bank wants you to do first is the account number, followed by the bank name, followed by the beneficiary name. Yeah, I hope you have listened to it. Just drop your opinion. It's just like uh, saying you have finished cooking food, then eating will be a problem. What we just need is this money to be disbursed. What happens when it gets to our bank account is our own personal and private business. Then for NGO, what happens to them is private business. The most important thing is let this money get to NGOs. Then at the, the last uh, round, get to beneficiaries. That's all we just want. All this uh, analogy, all this uh, logistics, all this uh, clarification, I don't think... Let's just let the money just be disbursed, you know. So, guys, we pray oh, <laughs> that this month will not leave us still saying the same story because this month is gone. See you at the other side, guys. Bye for now.